Hey, Speechies, it's Sarah, and I am going to do a deep dive into Seesaw. You may have seen my previous video on Seesaw, but now I've found even more features for speech pathologists, special educators, OTs, and PTs. So you will want to share this knowledge with members of your team. So let's jump on in. You're going to want to go to the Seesaw website and create a free account. And this is the journal tab. So this is what you're going to see. And you will see a record of everything you have done with a student. Um, go to the activities tab. And I want you to come along with me as we browse the activities library, which is incredible. Choose your grade level. And the subjects tab is really helpful because you can kind of subdivide everything. English language learners is a good one to use, and you'll find that there's some overlap with some of the grammatical concepts that they might teach here with um, speech therapy. Uh, for physical education, this is awesome for PTs, but also if you incorporate movement breaks in your online learning sessions, this is amazing. Social emotional learning is, is excellent for so many special educators. Obviously, there's special education as a tab, world languages, if you have anybody that speaks Spanish, and then writing. This is really great for any of your occupational therapy friends. So let's go ahead and choose English language learners at the kindergarten age. So you can see this is so valuable. Everything here is free. And if you like something, you heart it, and I will show you how to get it into your library and assign it to your students. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do fun with opposites. And then I'm going to go all the way up. I can click on my library, and everything I've ever hearted will appear here. And I, <laughs> I'll click view all so I can see everything. And um, you can see that I found a bunch of interesting things for speech pathologists, but we've got zones of regulation we can tackle. We can tackle movement breaks, the yoga cards, animal movements. That's another thing great for OTs and PTs that they could assign to students to do at home. Or you could do it with a student during teletherapy by sharing your screen. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Letter writing for occupational therapists. You can also see like, for example, fitness bingo. This would be a perfect thing to assign as a homework. Um, food sorting, you could do both in person and then send home one for homework too. Let's do the clap the syllables. And I like that one because it incorporates so many different skills. So so just so you know, anything that you assign as an activity comes under your activities tab. So you're taking it out of the activity library and putting it under your tab. So these I, I can assign. I may have assigned it before. It's great because let's say I assigned this to sample student one on Monday. Now I can assign it to sample student two. So it just sits here waiting for you. So we're going to click clap the syllables sample student. So this is what comes up. And you can see, you can go ahead and live share this to students during your session. So let's say my student says pizza is three syllables. Um, and let's say my student says alligator is two syllables. And we're going through this and we're thinking, okay, this um, is something we're going to have to tackle more of. But anyway, when we're done with the activity, we're going to click that green check mark in the corner. And, and that will put this from the activity library to the journal. And you'll see it's assigned to the sample student. And we can write here a message that the parent would read. OK, and what I really like here is that you have a record of learning. And um, I already was just doing that one, so it comes up twice. Um, but you can see we have the record of learning. Joey did fitness bingo back in October. Joey worked on the letters. 
He also had a movement break. You can use them in a session with a student. You can send it home because the parent will have access to the student's seesaw. You can see that this is another great thing potentially for an OT. You know, you could do an emoji check-in with a student in the, in the morning. Practice an R sound. Have students earn a reward if they are able to complete multiple tasks. And we're going to go up into the settings, which is the wrench in the upper right-hand corner, and make sure you have turned off students can see each other's work. So if you're a special educator, you don't want other people seeing um, your students' work, and also enable, um, disable student likes and comments just so that you're fully safe and secure. The last thing I want to show you is under the big green plus post student work. You can see that you could post a wide variety of things that you could use asynchronously. So if you had, for example, a worksheet, you could upload it here and bring it right into Seesaw, work on it, and quote unquote, send it home through Seesaw. So drawing, I love this because when you go over to the background, instead of the plain uh, Zoom default whiteboard, here Seesaw offers you a lined background. So we could do some different words. Can you write a word that starts with R? And let's practice it. So let's say the student does that. That's great. You did an awesome job. Um, we're going to click submit. We're assigning that to the sample student. And we're going to click submit again. And it will appear. And I can say then to the parents, so you can just see the ability to have proof of learning, to have evidence of learning is incredible, especially when you're working in a teletherapy or online learning environment. But you can see how, how well and how helpful it is to people who work in all different parts of special education, um, special ed teachers, SLPs, OTs, and PTs for sure. Wow, aren't you impressed? <laughs> I mean, and this is all free. So I highly suggest you sign up for your Seesaw account. Um, comment below and let me know what you think of Seesaw. I'd love to hear what you thought of my tour. Um, you can watch my other video uh, about Seesaw coming up next. Thanks.